Hello students, you are learning English with Vikas Dhan. So today we are going to learn about letter writing. So this topic is very important and you have to study it very carefully. So letter writing by Vikas Dhan. So before we begin the letter uh, writing the letters, we need to know something about it very important. So letter writing is one of the most indispensable activities, something that is very important. So letter writing is an indispensable part activities of modern societies so in today's society letter plays in plays a very important role so in which fields does it play the role whether it is the commerce trade official official correspondence public representations and complaints and other dealings and communications with the people are conducted to, through the letters so we conduct uh, the communication uh, with the people through the letter so it has become an indispensable or very important part of today's society or life or yes so students are advised to cultivate and learn the art and skills of letter writing so students are expected here to cultivate some skills of letter writing so learn it very carefully so first of all we would know about the types of letters so generally as we all know that there are two types of letters first is the formal letters formal letters and second is the informal letters informal letters so informal letters are the ones that we write to our friends to our families uh, to the known acquaintances etc and formal letter includes four types of letters first of them is business letter second is official letter third is letter to editor and the fourth is job application letter so today in this video we are going to learn about these two letters the letter of business and the official one so let's begin with the first one business letter so we are going to discuss about the formatting how to write the letter what is the format so before we begin we have to go through this question so we have a question here that we will solve you are ambika or mohit so if you are a girl you are ambika if you are a boy you are mohit and you think you have to think yourself to the librarian at saint wilfred senior secondary school mansarovar jaipur so you have to think yourself uh, one of these two and you are the librarian at saint wilfred school jaipur so first thing is clear you are expected here to be the librarian let's read further write a letter to jindal publishers raja park jaipur so you um, and librarian a librarian is to write the letter to jindal publishers why the letter to be written to place an order so you are going to place an order for what for english to hindi dictionaries illustrated children's encyclopedias fiction books etc for your school library so as you are in uh, you are a librarian so for your school library you need to make place an order for hindi dictionaries illustrated children's encyclopedias fiction books etc so some books are there you need to place the order for so that is why you will be expected to write the letter so let's read ahead request them so who is uh, who are you going to request to it is the publisher jindal publisher that you are writing the letter to so request them for a catalog discount offer mode of payment and time taken for delivery so you will uh, you have to ask them about this also and the letter is to be written in or between 100 to 120 words so students you have to uh, make sure letter uh, the the word limit you do not cross the word limit so you have to write within the word limit either you write less or more words the marks shall be reduced so here we have the solution so first of all you need to write down the address of the sender so this is the sender's address so uh, try to write it in three lines St. Wilfrid's school senior secondary school Mansur word Jaipur so this is the address in three lines and just below the address you have to write down the date so date has to be written this way so three ways are there to write down the date you have to make sure that you are choosing one of them so i write them 
first is for example uh, uh, the uh, one I have written March 27 2020 and the second is 27 March 2020 and third is 27th March 2020 so you have to choose any one that you like from this these three so you do not have to write down like this 23 27 03 2020 20. this is uh, uh, the wrong approach second 27 0 3 20, 20. this also is a wrong approach so you do not have to write this way so write this way choose any one that you like next so we have written down the sender's address we have written down the date so this is the date here second next we have to write down the receiver's address so re receiver's address so two addresses we write here after that you have to leave a space and you have to leave a space here as well now you have to write down the subject so what is the subject simply you can extract it from the question as it is given clearly so it is order for the books so you are going to place the orders for some books so let's begin it the school is pleased to place an order for some books so uh, you are happy to place the order with general publishers the name of the books along with their number to be supplied are mentioned below so you have given the details of the books and the number of books that you want to buy so this is a table that you have to make sim and uh, i have made it colored you need not make it in the exam the colored one so make a simple table so i have written down the serial number so seven books are there of different types name of the books i have written i have written down the uh, authors and number of books so you can write down any book that uh, comes to your mind uh, in the exam and if you do not know the author write any name so it is acceptable but you have to write all this so for example english to hindi dictionary dr pal is the author and five books you need of it second is illustrated children's encyclopedia david edward is a writer and five volumes or the books you need of it short stories great expectations pride and prejudice alibaba and other storage famous storage of Eliot. so you have given the number of the books here so once we have given this table these are 20 books in total so if you count them they are 20 it is uh, here we are letting the publisher know the books must be in good condition so here you are uh, making something clear that the books have to be in good condition and well laminated needless to say that you will give proper discount on the listed price so whatever the price they have so you do not want to um, say uh, you already know it is understood that the discount is given so you do not want to focus on that the payment will be made through check within 15 days of the delivery of the books so once the delivery of the books has been made within 15 days the payment through the check shall be made these books should reach the school reception within a week so these are some points that you are letting your supplier know what you want from them first and uh, about discount second about delivery within 15 days the payment shall be made third point and fourth let's see if there is any kindly take care that they reach the school between 11 11 a.m to 4 p.m so fourth is the timing so what time should the books be delivered there so it is between 11 to 4 pm yours faithfully ambika mohit librarian so you have given them given their details here so yours faithfully is to be written when you are writing a letter of business or official letter and you have given your name and your position your designation who are you librarian so the supplier will get to know it is a librarian who is writing the letter i hope you have got it so i will give you some exercises based on the same for your practice next as i told you we would learn 
uh, official letters also so we have a question here and we will discuss it the question is imagine so you have to think here what imagine that you are a resident of shastri nagar jaipur so you are a resident of shastri nagar you live in shastri nagar you have to think yourself to be somebody name has not been given here after reading a write up about the daylight robbery and murder in town so what is the write up it is short account of news so in news something in short we have extracted from so you read that and you came to know about a robbery and murder in the town write a letter to sho police shantinagar expressing your strong views against the lawlessness in your area so you are expected to write a letter to the sho station house officer it is a full form of sho police uh, so you have to write down the letter to the sho and you will tell them about uh, the lawlessness in your area and again the letter has to be written between 100 to 120 words so uh, 26 main market shastrinagar jaipur as i told you this is the standards address standards address next is the date and this is the receiver's address so who is the sender here 26 l main market shastri nagar jaipur march 27 2020 uh, this is this the first part and second is the sho police shastri nagar jaipur so here you have to leave a space as i told you in the previous letter and here as well now you have to write down the subject so complete lawlessness in Shastinagar. so you are talking about the law and order that is not prevailing in Shastinagar these days so sir robberies and murders have become a part and parcel of cultural life in Shastinagar. so you are telling that uh, robberies and murder murders have become an uh, unnecessary part of life in Shastinagar. So, robberies, murders, they usually take place in Shastinagar. So, you want to focus on the crime here. However, the recent broad daylight robbery and murder of a young woman have attracted the attention of the peace loving citizens of the town. And recently, uh, there has been a robbery and a murder of a young woman in the broad daylight uh, in in, in the day among the people and that has become a subject of concern among the peace loving citizens of the town so they are scared about the uh, of the crime that is taking place the bank robbery took place at 10 30 am so first of all i would like to tell you this is the introduction part so in one or two lines we have to give the introduction the, uh, the writer will get to know sorry the reader will get to know what you are writing about and in next paragraph we have to give the description so what happened there so a bank robbery was there right um, a murder of a woman was there so what actually happened you will tell here in this main body part the bank robbery took place at 10 30 am in the heart of the town at a stone's throw from the police station so bank robbery took place at 10 30 first point and it took place in the heart of the town and means main town so it has to be the crowded one and it is at the stones throw means at a short distance from the police station it is still the robbery took place in the bank it speaks volumes of the callousness and inefficiency of local police in maintaining law and order so here you are talking about the callousness, <coughs> insensitive, insen insensitiveness and inability of the local police in maintaining law and order. So they fail to maintain the law and order in the society because of their insensitiveness and inability. The young men, three young men armed with sophisticated weapons. So second point you have to... Uh, no is there were three men and they were armed with sophisticated weapons sophisticated is modern or 
um, you can say the modern weapons were there the advanced weapons were there and they were armed with them and they entered the bank one of them led the manager to the bank's chest so out of these three men one of them took the manager to the chest to the locker room to the safe where the bank's cash is kept the other two so two are remaining what did they do the other two herded all the employees in the strong room so all the employees of the bank they were crowded in a room they were put together in group in a room and which room was that that was the strong room where that is also the locker locker room where the valuables of the customers are kept the security guard rose to the occasion only a little late and fired at at the robbers so security guard came to action a little later and he fired bullets at the robbers a young lady who was standing at a corner got trapped in a volley of bullets and was killed on the spot so as the security guard uh, came in came into action so he fired the bullets and uh, in return robbers uh, the, the robbers also fired the bullets and there was a woman a lady who was uh, standing at the counter she so she came in between the bullets they were firing against each other so she got trapped in a volley of bullets volley of bullets means simultaneously they were discharging the firearms and she came it been in between them and got killed i hope so this you have to tell uh, what actually took place there what happened there so first first you had you have to give the introduction second is what actually happened there and third now you have to summarize it some of it i hope the authorities would act promptly and the local police will evolve a comprehensive strategy to crush lawlessness in area so here you want to draw the attention of the authorities you are requesting requesting them to quickly take an action and you are expecting the police also to work out a strategy a complete round up strategy Uh, so that you can finish the lawlessness in the area and set up the law and order there only sincere efforts of the local police so local police has to make some sincere efforts uh, why in order to restore the confidence uh, of in the victims of terror and violence so the victims the sufferers who suffered uh, there who saw the violence they got terrorized so in order to restore the confidence in them you have to the police has to show some sincere efforts so this is where you conclude it now again you have to leave the space here your speech play they told you you have to write down your speech fully when you are writing the letters uh, business letters or the official letters now you you will write down the name of the sender so as no name was given so i had written here vikas sharma is the name distressed citizen so what does the word distressed mean it is concerned citizen concerned citizen i expect you must have got it and on the based uh, based on the lecture i would give you some examples for practice so you can get the pdf file in the link below next so you are expected to like share and subscribe for more videos so an initiative by vikas sir so i expect you to like it share it and subscribe thank you for watching